Hold on. <laughs> I just, I can't even talk, I'm so excited. What's going on everybody? Taylor Alma here from Mountain Deer. We just shot ourselves a beauty main buck. And today we're gonna teach you guys how to take good photos of your buck. Okay, so because we shot this buck in a clear cut and we have all this boot brush and whips and stuff and we didn't bring a tripod because we're tracking and we're still hunting, we're going way out, we're gonna wanna find either a stump or a place to set the camera so we all can get behind it because I do want some group photos of this deer. Um, and we wanna get him up out of here so we can take good pictures and we can see Ryan and the deer. And we wanna get him, I'm thinking maybe this little grass opening up here. So we're gonna drag the buck up and uh, get him in a good spot. We found a better spot. We're gonna put the buck right here in this opening and uh, that way all of us can get behind him. Uh, and there's not a lot of brush and not a lot of stuff in the way except for this stick. So we're gonna wanna break that off. You don't want anything in the way of your picture. And I have a stump here I'm gonna set the uh, camera on, but I just have to clean all of this out. So I'm gonna do that right now. And it's the woods, it's hard to get all the sticks out of the way, but we're gonna do our best. We need a weed whacker, a brush hog. Actually, that's a good spot too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a good spot too. Yeah, I think I like that better. Yeah, we might even we might even try that spot out. We, when you're taking pictures, you want to try a bunch of different vantage points. That's a good spot. Actually, we'll put the buck right on the base, right on this thing right here, and then we'll sit right behind him. Oh yeah, that's a good deer. Let's swing his torso this way a little bit more, and we'll put that grass right in by the belly-ish. Can you pull it? There you go. Perfect frame. Is that good right where it is? No, no, I love it. I love it. Okay. I want it right there. I do have, uh, there is a couple of these that are in the road, if we can pull these out. Quite a process kind of stump removal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you going and running the camera. The camera. <laughs> <laughs> now that you see I've got Beave in full frame here, I want him somewhere on the third or in the center because I'm going to put Dad and Jimmy in here, and then somebody will probably go up next to B behind the head. And we want to make sure that we have nothing in the way. He's smiling. Tip your hat up so we can see your eyes a little bit more. There you go, because you want to see who's who's getting the deer. Look at that. That's perfect framing right there. If you can wait to gut it out until after you're done taking pictures, do that. Turn the buck's head a bit. Nice. Not too much background. Not too much background, but don't be afraid to get close. Yeah, a little tiny bit. Nah. Yep, bring it back way. Right, there you go. Beautiful. Yep. I'm gonna get myself out of the frame. <laughs> get a shadow. My phone shadow, I can't help it. One of the things to do that's really, really hard is when you're in this harsh sunlight, it's really hard to take photos and get everyone, make sure they're not squinting or blinking. It is what it is. You gotta work with what you have. I mean, we're out here in nature. We wanna do our best to make sure the deer's face is clean, the blood's all, one, because it protects the cape, because if you keep the saliva and blood off the mouth, when you go to have it mounted, there's less tendency for the hair to slip and for that to ruin the, the lines around the eyes, the nose, and the mouth is what you look at when you have a mount done. So we wanna make sure all that's clean because we are mounting this buck. And that's another thing to think about and it also helps for your pictures. Get right in there, Jimmy. A quick little side note, and this is kind of my thoughts on it, that the deer is not the important part of the photo. The people are the important part of the photo. The hunter, the area, and all that. You wanna make sure that you can find a way to capture all of that in the photo. Do photos that are far back where you can see where you're hunting and do photos up close of the hunter's face and then him just holding the rack and then the deer in there and just his hands on the antlers and, and mix it up and take take a thousand of them because we all know how many photos it takes to get a good one. Jimmy's buck yesterday, uh, we'll link that above. I'm not sure how many photos I took of that buck, but there is one that is like crystal, just like that thing is worth a million dollar photo. And it takes a lot. I probably took four or 500 photos to get that one banger, you know what I mean? Make sure everybody's smiling because this is a big deal and you're gonna wanna go back and see these and your your kids and your family years from now are gonna wanna see this. Take a million photos. It is. You're literally back to camp and you'll be wanting to look at the picture. Already, oh yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, that's kind of how we like to do pictures. That's what we think about when we're doing this kind of thing. 
um, and make sure you get it. Like we said, the hunt's over already, and you know he's done in Maine, and it'll be another year before you get a chance to come back here and hunt a big buck. You know, this is something that takes a lot of practice. It takes practice to work on framing, and you have to study this kind of thing. And I'm I'm sure there's a million other videos out there that'll really teach you how to run your camera up really well. And your phone's all you really need. You don't need a DSLR like this. But there are things you have to keep in mind when you think about taking pictures of the deer. Making sure that your subject is in frame and in focus and that you, you have space around to breathe, but really zoom in, take creative shots and you know, have fun with it because you know, this is the last chance. Anyway, so if you guys wanna watch the hunt for this buck, uh, yeah, I'll link that above. It'll be at the end of the photo. Like and subscribe for all of these hunting videos and tips. We have tons of big buck hunts and messing around out here in Maine with this crew and a bunch of our friends. If you guys like this kind of thing, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Happy hunting, take lots of pictures and enjoy. We'll see you guys next time from all Good of us here at Mountain Deer. Get a big one. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> now we gotta <laughs> smash through all this to get him back to the truck. <laughs>